In today's video, we are cooking smothered chicken, cabbage, and potato salad. But first, let's focus on our smothered chicken. We have about 25 to 30 seasoned chicken legs in our pot with two sliced white onions. Now we are going to place the chicken legs into the oven on 400 degrees for two hours. And this is how our chicken looked afterwards. Now we are going to move around each chicken leg and rotate our pot because one side always cooks faster than the other. One hour later and here's our fully cooked chicken legs. Now let's make our gravy. We used two packs of McCormick gravy and poured it into the pot with our fully cooked chicken legs. We are moving around the chicken legs to ensure the gravy touches each one and then put the pot back into the oven until it comes to a boil like this clip. We're going to base our chicken legs with the gravy as needed and there's our smothered chicken recipe. Now let's focus on the smothered cabbage. I'm pouring two heads of cut up cabbage into a pot with a little bit of vegetable oil at the bottom. After about 20 minutes with the top on, here's the cabbage cooked down. I'm adding my usual seasonings, salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, garlic and onion powder, and a tad bit of butter. I'm going to give it a good stir, then cover it, and check on it occasionally, adding water if needed, then turning off the stove so it won't burn. And there's our smothered cabbage recipe. Let's focus on the potato salad. Now my mom, hey mom, is mashing two boiled potatoes and eggs with my favorite tool, a cake beater. Whatever you're mashing your potatoes with for your potato salad, try a cake beater and I bet you won't go back. But we're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of mayo, a squirt of mustard, one tablespoon of dill and sweet relish, Cajun seasoning, and a good stir.
and let's add a little parsley one more stir then a smoothening and a coat of paprika on top and this is our potato salad recipe Thank you so much for watching our smothered chicken, cabbage, and potato salad recipe. I hope you learned something new.